I'm Herman Hunter. Yeah. Well, the Revenant in the Tomb is on its way to completion. we got some interior formatting to do. Uh, the artist is going to have is going to have to revise the image for a printed book. Um, i got all my promotional stuff in place. Sort of. And uh, now that I'm getting near the end, I'm... Uh, doing a little bit of introspection and uh, pondering some of the lessons learned. This is the first book I've ever self-published. Um, so a lot of this is new to me. I'm making mistakes. I expected to make mistakes. It's hard not to make mistakes when you're fumbling around in the dark blind. I've discovered that when I go to refine the manuscript, um, I'm finding that I have some issues in my uh, revision and refinement process. These are as follows. The more I reread a manuscript, <laughs> the more I lose interest. Me losing interest makes me sloppy. I rely on an editor to catch things I miss. Some of the things I find are stylistic. Um, the, the, the reader would probably never know what's wrong with a sentence. Um, and uh, the beta readers probably don't see it. Uh, my wife, I told my wife about some of the things that I caught and drove me batty, and she goes, I, I didn't even notice that. The thing is, the creator sees all of his flaws. Um, even a woodworker will know where every single little tiny problem that most people will never see, and they'll know exactly where they are in their final piece of work. Once I've sent the manuscript off to be copyrighted, I shouldn't be changing it. Um, I am, and that's a problem. Uh, because you can make minor changes, it doesn't affect your copyright. But when you start doing major revisions, yeah, so, and I want to touch it as little as possible. So I've made my final, final, final revisions, and I'm not touching it again for that reason. I heard somewhere that a good editor can make or break a book. I think that that's partly true. Um, I think it's a false assessment, especially given that, you know, you, you really can't polish a turd. No matter how hard you try, boy, people don't like it when I say that term. So after a little bit of reflection, I'm discovering I need the following things. An editor needs to know what I want to get out of a sentence, a paragraph, or a, or a chapter. While my wife is very detail-oriented and she's good at catching uh, these little mistakes, um, I can tell you from experience, language changes. Um, recent years, we've had that whole changeover with commas. Commas, as we used to place them mm -hmm. back 20, 30 years ago, are not the way that they're placed now. So I need somebody who can deal with that syntactical mumbo-jumbo while knowing my writing goals. I feel that just hiring an editor off of a list of names isn't cutting it. I don't want this to be seen as a reflection on the editor that I use for The Revenant and the Tomb. She, she, did, a, she did a great job. But I'm realizing I need to have a personal relationship with an editor uh, so that we understand one another and uh, so that we're kind of on the same page while she's editing it and um, I'm revising it. I just, I'm learning kind of now that editing is more than just uh, syntax, grammar, and style sheets. It's, uh, like I said, I almost need a personal relationship with an editor so that we understand one another uh, when we go to... Uh, update and, you know, refine the manuscript. Once more, this is uh, a lesson learned. 
it's a difficult problem that I think probably every self-publisher needs to uh, needs to learn, and I don't think it'll be resolved easily. Anyways, your thoughts on the subjects in the remarks below. Uh, remember to like and share, and I'll see you in the next video.